Will a ceasefire agreement and the national dialogue end the 20-month-long war in northern Ethiopia? On Wednesday, the spokesperson for the Ethiopian Prime Minister's office insisted the government wanted talks with rebel leaders in the Tigray region to start. For this purpose, a plan was drawn up by a seven-member peace committee established in June. The peace proposal has got a three-pronged uh, proposal. Firstly, it proposes for peace talks to happen within the coming weeks towards an agreed ceasefire. Secondly, it proposes to undertake an in-depth political dialogue between, lead, um, um, uh, between the parties leading towards a settlement. And thirdly, it proposes for any other pending issues to be addressed through a national dialogue. The TPLF rebels dismissed the committee's call as an obfuscation. If both sides have named negotiators, the parties defined several issues and prerequisites to the talks. The rebels, for example, want a return of basic services in the war stricken northern region. For the basic services to happen, we are saying that a conducive, operable environment needs to happen, which guarantees the safety of federal service providers to operate freely and with guarantees that um, their safety is, uh, is uh, facilitated within the region. And at the moment, with a very vocally belligerent and illegally armed group operating at its own whim, um, and refusing to accept peace talks, the required enabling and secure environment is lacking for the restoration of uh, services. Fighting has eased since a humanitarian truce was declared at the end of March, but a political solution has yet to be found. The rebels and the government haven't agreed on a mediator. The African Union leads efforts to end the conflict that has killed thousands and left millions displaced.